What's up everyone, David Simmons guys here, requesting from my best friend's mansion. Um, as you guys probably know, I'm still uh, not in the studio, I'm locked out of my studio, I'm in quarantine somewhere else. Um, this is uh, this is being super annoying, but uh, yes, and as you can see, uh, the, the, the setup, it's not the greatest. Um, I'm using my phone, which is mounted up into like stuff that we stacked. Um, and then there's a screen that's doing some lights and then random lights. Um, so uh, I'm sorry for the, 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 the very amateur setup, um, but this is uh, the best I can do right now. I decided to do a video today because I haven't really seen anything about this. Um, and uh, this is something that it's, it's changing my life forever. Uh, Ableton just released a new update and it's update number uh, 10.1.9. It comes with a bunch of stuff uh, that I don't particularly care about. Not many people ever care about um, minor updates. Uh, I think one of, one of the things that I really like that I'm kind of excited is the fact that they are finally supporting, fully supporting uh, the native instrument control keyboard and controllers. Uh, but there's one thing that uh, they changed, that they added, which is gonna make my life so much easier. And I'm talking about the sidechain. Before this uh, version of Ableton Live, uh, what you had to do is something that I, I don't even know how to do it. And every time I need to do it, I go uh, on YouTube and I search how to do it because I always forget how it's done. Uh, which is basically you need to send something to something else and then um, it's super confusing and I know it's easy. It's not as confusing as I uh, make it, uh, but for some reason, because uh, I was so used to logic, which is just like two clicks, it's just never stuck in my, in my head and literally every time I have to go online and find how to do it. But they finally, changed that, they finally fixed it. So for example now, I'm gonna do a couple examples. This is gonna be a very, very quick um, video. I just wanna show you this and, and I'm surprised nobody really talked about it. I'm just very excited and so I wanted to show you. Uh, so as you can see, I opened the glue and now over here, you see sidechain. Now, if I set it to no input, this is just a very basic, uh, Serum init preset. I have my kick over here. I made it super short just because I want to show you guys. So if I open my glue, actually, let me just remove it. Double click again. If I open my glue, nothing is happening, right? Now, what I can do, if I wanted to do sidechain before, again, what I had to do was to send this somewhere, I think, to Serum, and then from here, do kick, and then it might work. It doesn't work. That That's exactly what I was trying to say. It's just, no, because this is an exit. Um, oh, there you go, yeah. The glue, it's already, it's already uh, wired, and so... There you go, it just doesn't work. And I don't, I don't know, I don't know how to do it, I never really knew how to figure it out. And uh, as you can see, I'm still having the same problem, but no more. Now all you've got to do is go here and tell Ableton where you want your sidechain trigger from. And we just simply select the kick. Obviously, depending on how many tracks you have, you're going to have the list of your channels. So we select kick, obviously, Sidechain needs to be exit in, and now uh, we use the threshold. Here you go. This is super simple. This, this is what he, oh my God, this is what they should have done ages ago. Obviously, if I mute the kick, uh, the trigger still goes through because it's um, a, kind of like a hard wire thing. It goes in the background. And this is awesome. Um, um, one other thing 
uh, that you can do is before uh, kind of the same thing. Uh, this is something that I use a lot, uh, especially for mastering, uh, which is EQ match. Now, EQ match with the Pro Q was an, another absolute nightmare for me uh, when it comes to Ableton, because again, same thing, it has to go somewhere and then inside something else. Never figured it out. Um, like this, super simple. You set your sidechain to kick. You select the input. Obviously, you have to select external sidechain. And then match. There you go. Obviously, I just used um, a kick to EQ match a saw wave, which is something that absolutely ridiculous, and you would never need to do that. But at least now you can see it's just super, super simple to send your input to ProQ, to send your sidechain signal to whatever track you need. Uh, this works. Um, I mean, there's there's a ton of stuff that uses uh, sidechain. I believe there are some vocoders that use sidechain, uh, fab filter, uh, obviously all the compressor with all the sidechain stuff. Uh, guys, this is an absolute bliss. I am so stoked that Ableton did this. This is like one of the one of the few things that I really missed about Logic, and I'm super stoked that they finally did this, and um, it deserved a video. This is probably the first time I talk about something new in Ableton. Uh, but yes, let me know in the comment down below if you already saw that that was there, because uh, that's the other thing. Uh, they released the they released the update, and I updated, and I kept working. Then yesterday, uh, last night, after I've been using the new update for like two days, last night I saw that, and I was like, wait a second, that wasn't there. Um, and I talked to my other friend, and I was like, did you notice this? And he was like, oh my god, this is amazing. Um, and I checked on YouTube and nobody's talking about this. So, um, so yeah, I really had to do this video. I'm super stoked that they did this and that's about it. Um, super quick video. Again, I'm super, I'm very sorry uh, that I'm not uh, doing as many videos as I want. But uh, yeah, the situation here is very uh, delicate, it's very complicated. Um, and uh, I'm outside the house with like one pair of, uh, literally one t-shirt, a, a pair of jeans, and I have to keep washing stuff and I look terrible and I feel terrible. Um, so I don't feel super comfortable um, being on camera, but you know, I'm trying my best. I hope you are all safe at home. Um, I hope the situation is gonna pass uh, as soon as possible and we're just gonna, you know, Forget about it and we'll keep on living our life. Uh, so yes, please be safe. From me, David Seven Skies, not in the Seven Skies Mansion. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.